Here's the deal, folks. I'm thinking about getting snipped. That's right. I'm gonna get snipped. I think I'm, I'm thinking about snipping my internet off because, as you guys know, I have terrible internet, and I pay around 80 bucks a month for this internet. All right. Well, it's really 80 for phone and internet, and the phones are on 20 bucks. So I spend. I, you know, I live a minimalist lifestyle. I don't like spending any money. So spending sixty dollars on internet that barely works actually sucks. I mean, my internet speed basically. Um, so I probably get around, you know, 300 KB down. That's basically my download speed. And my upload speed, if I'm lucky, maybe I'll get 50 KB up, but usually it's like 20 KB up. So you can imagine uploading like a gigabyte of video. Uh, it's basically impossible, like it takes overnight, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a huge affair. So that's a big problem, especially when I'm like putting out YouTube videos. The fact of the matter is it's gotten to the point where, you know, I'll just go, I'll have to go somewhere else if I want to upload a video. That, that's, you know, how it's gotten to, um, because especially if I'm doing multiple ones at once, like this one, any of the ones I'm, do, I'm filming are outside where you're going to have a lot of movement, it, this is going to take a while to upload. Um, so, and yeah, don't, yeah, yeah, I know, I put them in different codecs, I do everything, like, I, I'm a professional, guys, um, but it's just such a pain. And um, as you guys know, uh, you know, I, you might be like, oh, so you're not going to ever use the internet again. No, no, no. So as you guys know, like a couple years ago, I actually used to live without the internet. When I lived in Tucson, I lived in downtown Tucson, or well, sort of around the University of Arizona, I could just walk to the campus. Um, you know, basically, I, I didn't have internet at all at my, uh, my apartment. And that was because when I actually moved in, I, I ordered internet. And I was like, wait, this, this is way overpriced. And then they didn't even come and install it, so I never paid it. And uh, so I basically never had internet. And I was like, I'm just not going to deal with it. Because what could happen is, uh, you know, I could just walk to my office on campus. And I would be able to, like, I'd have internet way faster than anything they were going to give me. Like, universities always have super fast internet. That's just how it is. Um, or at least everyone I've ever been to. So, uh, what was I going to say? So, like, I, I've definitely lived, and I lived two years of my life without having internet at home, and if, if I really needed it, I'd just go on to the university, or I'd go somewhere else. Um, so that's what I'm thinking about doing. The only difference now being is that, you know, I, you know, I, I live in walking distance from here. You know, I, I don't live, uh, you know, there's no, actually, there's no place in my county that gets good internet. And there are some people, actually, I, I get the worst thing. I just, I, you know, Okay, my ISP, I have a message for you. I'm very confused about this because at my house, again, I get like 300 KB down and like maybe 50 up if I'm super lucky. Everyone else gets like, you know, at least a couple megs down and maybe, maybe if they're lucky, one meg up. I'm just a little confused why that's different for me. But aside from that, like that, that internet speed is not enough to do, for example, live streams. Um, so yeah, as you guys know, last week, if you've been watching the channel last week, you know, I just said, screw it, I am going to go, I'm just going to check into a hotel, I don't have anything to do today, and I'm just going to do a live stream from a hotel, and I did it, and, you know, I'm, uh, of course it cost me a hotel room, but I, you know, made more money than I lost, so, and I'm thinking, honestly, I might just start doing stuff like that, um, uh, just because, uh, you know, it, it's, it'd probably be worth it, you know, if I did stuff like that, and also, if I just uploaded my videos from a place, I just go to a, another town that has to be out of my county. In my county, there is like, there must be like literally no fiber optic internet anywhere. Like it's just not, it's not happening. Um, now the, uh, there is one other option. There's one other option for like actually uh, getting, uh, from what I hear, actually fast internet um, in the country. And that's this thing that people call, uh, what is it? Like a MoFi router. I don't know if you guys know about this. Like I'm a little worried about it. Like I see people install them. Uh, on the internet, I, I've never met anyone in real life who uses them, but basically what they are, they're these kind of antennas you can put on your house, and I think they look to like a, a cell phone tower, and you can get a SIM card with a cell phone plan, or like a data plan, and you can basically like have internet from that, like, um, and uh, there are a bunch of people, if you look at a, a MoFi router on uh, YouTube or whatever, there are a bunch of people who, who in the middle of nowhere get, uh, get like pretty good internet, like in just you know, using these 3G towers or whatever, um, and if that's not, or 4G towers, whatever, um, and that's the kind of thing that, if I could do that, that'd, that'd be super nice, like, if I could live stream from my house, that would be a total game changer, but the thing is, you know, I'm just a little worried about it, because I gotta make a, basically a 500, it, it costs around 500 bucks to, like, uh, get the equipment, and then installing it, I could probably get someone to install it for relatively cheap, because uh, I don't want to climb up on top of my, you have to install them pretty high. I actually already, already have a ham radio 
uh, uh, rig. Um, I guess I could put it on that. Anyway, I'm just talking. So here's my recommendation for people. Um, you know, I, and I've said this a million times, so you're just, this is like repeated regurgitated content, but I'm going to say it. If, if you are in a position like I was in Tucson, uh, I think that is a great time to not have internet. Like if you have to pay for your internet, it's, if it's not provided by your apartment or anything, I totally recommend people just not having internet at their house. If you live in a big city, there's literally no reason to. Um, and you get a lot of good things with that because the fact of the matter, I mean, there, you might, you, maybe you're watching this, you're like, oh, you're a YouTuber, how are you just not going to have the internet? And, and the, it comes down to, like most of the time when you're on the internet, it's just a waste of time, you know? Um, you're just looking at, you, you know, like you sort of feel like you're getting stuff done because you're, I don't know, looking at, I don't even know what people do, frankly. Uh, but the, the internet is a big time sink, right? When in reality, when, when, I, um, when I lived without it, the thing is you always think in terms of, okay, here's the kind of stuff I can get done, done, done at home. Here's the kind of stuff I have to do on the internet. Um, and you actually use the internet much more wisely. Um, you know, oh, I gotta get this uh, video, I gotta look this stuff up, blah, blah, blah. Or when you're off the internet, you're always thinking, okay, well, how can I, um, you know, how can I do this? How can I le learn to do that without the internet? Uh, it's just a very nice, it's very good for you, frankly. Um, and the other thing is that, like, I want to start responding to emails. I know I, I did a stream where I talked about that. I was like, oh, I need to respond to more emails. Uh, just because there's some I actually want to respond, some I want to respond to. Um, and, like, uh, I feel like I don't have enough time, but I think I actually do. Because, you know, it's just when I'm on the internet, I'm always like, hey, I can do something better rather than responding to emails. Where, of course, you know, just to be clear, my email setup. Maybe I should do a video on my email setup before I cut, before I get snipped, before I cut the cord. Um, because, uh... You know, it, I can download emails offline, their files on my computer, stuff like that, and you know, I can respond to them whenever, and they just send back when I uh, uh, get connected to the internet. But um, yeah, so that's just one of those things, um, and it's it's just ridiculous the internet I have to put up with, and I'm paying sixty bucks a month for. Like, it's literally not worth two dollars a day. That's that's sort of how how I view it, and um, so I might do that. I think I might just. Maybe I'll just turn it off. I don't know. I'm just sick of dealing with it. It's like humiliating. It's like, why do I even pay for this crap? Um, but if anyone knows about installing a MoFi router, router you should hook, uh, you know, hit me up. Tell me your, tell me your experiences. Because again, all I have is a couple videos online that I, I see people, people do. Uh, I, I don't, you know, there are cell phone towers in my county. It's not that remote. Uh, they're pretty far away from where I am. I don't know how close they have to be uh, or like what, what provider is best or, or how to look that, that kind of stuff up. Or even how much, like, a, a, you know, if I just get a data plan with, like, some cell phone company to use it for my internet. Like, how's that going to work? I don't actually know. So if you have experience with that, please tell me. Uh, because, honestly, the ideal, I mean, the ideal would be, like, not having to use the internet. But uh, the second best is being able to do live streams and stuff like that. Um, and uh, But even, even if I just cut the cord... I, I feel like that's going to be good for my personal behavior. So, uh, and again, that's something I recommend to other people. All right, that's about it. Uh, see you guys next time.